Alright, so we're gonna start with the first class. We're gonna organize this in terms of class and neutral. So so the first class we're gonna start with is the Druid class. So we're gonna start with the Enchanted Raven, a one mana for two two, and it's also a beast. I think this card is pretty good. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, and for yeah. Uh, first glance it's it's pretty damn strong. One mana two two. It's already like overstated for its cost. It's a yeah. beast. But it does belong in Druid, mm -hmm. so you know it really only fits the uh, the Beast Druid aggressive archetype. Um, I've played around with it before. It's 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 decent. It's not op op or anything. It's fucking it's it's good. Nothing much to say about it. Standard one drop. That's good. Later on, it's just a whatever. Yeah, it's you know? a pretty vanilla minion. Like, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So at at the time of this recording, only one wing has been released. So uh, we haven't seen like all the Beast Druid tools come together from this expansion. And the other one being like the real the the, the card that's really been overhyped this expansion is the Menagerie Warden, which we'll be going over later. But once that card comes into set, I expect Beast Druid to become a lot stronger. This card might not look like a lot, but it provides mm -hmm. a really solid foundation for Beast Druid to go off of. Uh, the most obvious combo being um, uh, this turn one Enchanted Raven, turn two Mark of Yasharaj, which gives you a two mana four four, which doesn't miss on turn two, which is yeah. pretty insane. And you get a card out of it. If so they don't, it's pretty damn yeah, good. Yeah, not killing it and this being a beast in the late game gives you like some semblance of value for Mar if you top deck Mark of Yasharaj, if you top deck Menagerie Warden, those mm -hmm. cards aren't dead and it's just a uh, pretty solid all, all around yeah. card. Not, yeah. not that much to say about it. It's just it's really good at uh, taking the early game which is so damn important for uh, for a deck like Beast Druid which uh, Druid just generally doesn't come back from behind. Yeah, so it's, it's them something to do exactly. yeah, in an in early game. Take the board. Yeah, take the board. Yeah, something that you need. Like other than living roots, at least you have another solid one drop. Yeah, that. for sure. Yeah, please no more aggro druids. <laughs> <laughs> <Please not. laughs> it does give, see, yeah, yeah. gives you that one drop consistency. Yeah. It allows you to hit it like that yeah. much more. Like it's like yeah. zombie chow, but you yeah. know. It's, but this is it's better. Just... It doesn't heal. No, yeah. it's well, it's missing one like yeah. health stat. So yeah, true. In terms yeah. of board presence, just a little. Just a little bit. Just a little. Yeah, you know? but there's a lot of synergy involved. It's a, it's a beast. It ain't no yeah. zombie. Yeah. That's for sure. In, yeah. in, in Arena, I'd say this card is like slightly worse than uh, Zombie Child because of that one health, but it's still going to be a pretty decent. I'd card. say it's, it's, it's a lot worse. It's, not, it's a lot worse, but it still contests 3 2s and it doesn't die to hero power, so it's not that bad. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. do you want to introduce the next card that we're going to talk about? Yeah. So, uh, the next card we're talking about is well, well, well we were just, just discussing yeah. the Menagerie Warden, and this card. At first glance, seems absolutely insane. I actually thought this was a hunter card when I first looked at it. I was like, I know it was absolutely like just I, I was I, I could not comprehend the power of this card when I looked at it. <laughs> Coin hymen into this, but okay, it, it's actually a druid card. Calm down, everybody. All right, so oh, the most man. obvious combo that you can see from this one is uh, that you can play Strangle Thorn Tiger on turn five and then play the Menagerie Warden. And that seems like a pretty good combo if you ask me, but mm -hmm. I think I think like this card isn't as insane as people think it is. It's really good, like yeah, don't get me yeah, wrong. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, I agree with but you. It, it like it, it's just a solid card which will give Beast Druid a like a foundation mm -hmm. to uh, start becoming a viable deck I'm, archetype. I'm actually going to say that this is going to change what the current Beast Druid, uh, how it performs. Because the current Beast Druid yep. is fully, uh, it's very aggressive. Yeah. This gives it the more late game sustain that turns it into a more of a mid range. Yeah, mid range, deck. yeah. It's sort of like Call of the Wild for Hunter is. Uh, and, I would, no, not really. Or High Main. It's just, it's a strong, uh, it's a big value card. It's a value card for a tempo based deck. Yeah, it allows them to sustain the late game and also just gives mm -hmm. massive value in tempo. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is what called. But that being said, like <laughs> it's it's just it's uh, dependent on uh, setting up the board for it. So kind of like Princess Hu Ran, which is kind of like nuts. Five mana, six five, activated death rattle. It doesn't do all that much if you don't have a target for it. It's just overstated for its cost, but you know can just get removed for a uh, for a five drop. You kind of want something sticky or something that does something immediately, like mm -hmm. a Kodo or a Tiger. You know. I'm not super knowledgeable about Beast Druid, but I don't believe they ran Stranglethorn Tiger. No, uh, they, they do. They do. That's just, 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 just some yeah. of them. But this will this yeah. this card will like incentivize Beast Druids to run cards mm. more like Stranglethorn Tiger. Yeah, more cards, like yeah. Individual minions that are really yeah. good to be copied. Yeah. yeah. Or like have the faceless manipulator yeah. effect on the. You, uh, you, you know the Beast. <laughs> well, I don't think you want to give them two three threes, do you? Yeah. Oh no, getting another nine seven. It's another yeah, nine seven. Nine seven is pretty yeah, good. two nine sevens. You don't want two nine sevens. You know what's even better? Yeah, core hound. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that no core, core hound's a seven yeah, drop. Yeah, it's a seven drop. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah the beast is a six kind drop. Make you yeah. sustain. Yeah. Oh man, you have two yeah. core hounds. You savage roar. Yeah. If I if I actually do see kind of like a that doesn't sound like a viable. Yeah. It sounds pretty dope though. Yeah. True. True. That being said, I think this deck this card is okay. It's not 
Like, I would it's definitely, not great, but it's all right. I would rate this in the top three cards in my like like for the entire. That's a bold actually. statement. That's yes. a very very bold yeah. statement. I would yeah. definitely rate top three. Maybe yeah, not the yeah. first one, but definitely top. Three. I'd say yeah. it's top four. All right. <laughs> Let's just all agree right. to disagree. Sure. Okay. Thing. All, all right. right. Now, all so right. now we're looking at uh, the uh, Druid Portal card that they got this set. Um, six mana, Moonglade Portal. Restore six health, summon a random six cost minion. Mm. Seems like a v- very I interesting mean, card. Yeah. That's a very, well, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a very you? That's a very PC way of saying it. Yeah. <laughs> I think out of all the portals, this is one of the be- better portals. No, so, this yeah. is definitely not it, one of the better portals. It's not? I, I think it's was, one of the better portals. Yeah, it's a, one no, of the no, better no. portals. Here's why. why. Because you're paying six mana to... Okay, you restore six health, which okay, 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 for the okay, most okay, part okay. isn't yeah, very... Yeah. like It doesn't yeah, do okay. anything. And you get a six drop, which in general, throughout Hearthstone's history, and even now, is the better like uh, mana slot for good random six drop minions. If that makes sense. Because you can hit like Sylvanas or Cairn or... When you're just saying that this card isn't one of the better portals in the set. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, you say it right. wasn't the best. Six drop be- is a uh, highly contested Are mana you- cost for highly good uh, mana cost for a lot of minions like Sylvanas and Karen. Yeah. And Emperor Thor Sun. There's but a it, lot it, of good minions. You it is the same mana cost. Yeah. like six... Wait. That, yes, that, yeah, 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 for a six cost minion. Yeah. And you get six additional health. healing. But you restore six health. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that's a good effect. It's, it's, a good it's effect. almost you needed to set up for that six health to re- be relevant. See, Otherwise, about... you're doing nothing. You're, you're you're playing six mana for a random ash six drop. Yeah, well, what's to, gr- to, to for the relevant? I don't know. No, no. But what's great about the Moonglade Portal is that it's also a spell, so that feeds Yogg. Oh that's yeah, the, yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's yeah, the that, that's the first that's thing. That's like, and, the second, and the second it's thing like, about it is like I think you're looking at it from a perspective where you you think that you can only cast Moonglade uh, Portal on yourself. <laughs> no, you of course not. You can like a of War. Yeah, pretty dope. and you can Moonglade Portal that, and that's when it's actually pretty crazy. But that's when it's there. Restoring six health and summoning a random six cost minion. Summoning random six cost specifically six cost minions is really a lot better than five or seven. Think of it this way. All right. You have nothing on board. Okay. Your your opponent's beating you down. You have this Moonglade portal. Okay. Hold on. Think of it this way. You're building a deck, and you put in all these <laughs> good cards that do things. You know, they synergize with each other. They have a purpose. Then you have Moonglade portal. And I, I can't see this card as bad just by the virtue of Shield Maiden like, being a thing and being one of the best cards ever released for the Warrior class. It, it, and it, this card almost... Like shield, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it does it. It does only, it. it. Not only yeah. it doesn't give you armor, and that it, so it doesn't allow you to go over the health cap, and doesn't let you like doesn't send it to shield. Yeah, but it's a spell, which is its own thing with Yogg, and it also restores six health to a minion or yourself, which has a lot of utility. So I would rate this card. All right, fine. You would put the this is like a one yeah, or two up. I actually argue that this card might see more play in Constructed than Firelands Portal, even though I would rate Firelands Portal a better card. I, I wouldn't, From yeah, a pure yeah. value uh, point of view, this yeah. card has more applications than Constructed. Yeah, it's more applications, more flexible. Constructed, yeah, 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 Constructed, yeah. yeah. So I would rate this card as pretty good as like one of the better cards of the set. I wouldn't rate it. Like, I would, okay. It would be amazing, but it's One of the better cards, but yeah. is it good? Yeah, I would I would say, I would. this is a card it, that I would definitely put in a Yogg. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's playable. It's playable. Yeah, yeah it's playable. playable. It's playable. I wouldn't say it's good. I, I, it's, I would not see it being played. All right. Well, I guess we'll see in a few. In a yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll see in a couple, a couple weeks. weeks. We'll see in a couple. Yeah, weeks. watch this thing get you volcanic drinks, man. Fuck this. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're the guy who doesn't play Malkrock because he gets curse play one hundred. I play Malkrock now. All right. He's kind to me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you respect it. He's now. gone over the hump. Yeah, you respect of his it now. Full I understand the probability. You may get bad luck sometimes. It's just part of it. I've seen this guy get five curse blades in a row. It's like bullshit. literally five curse blades in a row after playing Malkrock five games in a row. So. Oh, I called it. He too, has a it? vendetta against cards like this, so yeah. don't blame him if he no, gets No, honestly, okay, no, so just... We've already gone through this, I know. It's okay. It's an okay card. It's not great. I would definitely put in Yogg. Yeah, I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll put in Yogg Druid. And it's yeah. a good card. Once well, I saw this was Yogg Druid. Yeah, this straight is definitely up. a Yogg Druid card. Yeah, straight up. Minimum a one of. Look, okay, this... Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's just one card. Oh, yeah, I mean, good as a priest card, but not yeah, a yeah, fucking Druid card. Sorry, I'm mad. This card sucks. Alright. Alright, let's move on. All right. Is the next one.